Hello guys, we need to have a talk, as the title says. I just want to get a lot of things off my chest that has been stressing me out for the past few months. Giving me anxiety, giving me sort of depression, um, stress. So, I know a lot of people are probably wondering, if you, if you guys even wonder at all, I'm just gonna let my guard down right now and be like, you know, and I gotta keep my confidence up because right now I'm lacking confidence, you know. <laughs> um, when I started YouTube, I always had the mind and goal like in hand that I, uh, you know, I just want to be on YouTube and I will post anything I want, you know, not be fake and play a game just because I want to play that game. You know, because I they want me to play the game because like what's trending. I'll play what I enjoy, and people can vibe with me whether they want to or not. You know, and I still have some of that mentality. But along the way, I've grown a fondness to just play games that it's not even about the games anymore. It's just enjoying life and making others happy like that's at this point in my life that's what I want to do you know and I'm 21 you know so I still got a long thing ahead of me but like I didn't I went out of I finished high school did have nothing you know I wanted to do didn't want to do college cuz like I don't know what I'm gonna even major in college other than cooking you know Financially and stuff, I wouldn't be able to afford college. And financially and stuff, I just keep trying to get me a job now, you know, uh, on disability. So it's hard. I just got to go ahead so that I can finally, you know, get a job. So I'm happy about that, you know. Um, if there's one thing I care about, it's just making others happy. That's always been my greatest attribute about me, but also the worst part about me is that. I will go beyond and beyond for somebody, and you should. I'm either being used for it, or it pays off nicely, or it gets me in trouble. I'm wanting to speak up when something's not right. You know, that's just me. I try to stand out and look after others more than myself, and that's just me as a person. Okay. Um. I started doing Striker because I thoroughly enjoyed it at the time. You know, I think like most of us, we thoroughly enjoyed doing Strikers when it first came out. I was one of the main ones when I had, when I was on Xbox originally, getting my friends up in the morning. We staying up like 12 to <laughs> like 7 a.m. in the morning playing Striker in a beta, and I was the only one who really liked it. Because it's like, I've been wanting to make a character, you know, forever. First of all. That's something I've always wanted to do. Even since, like, I grew up, I didn't like the Storm series. I still don't really care much for the Storm series. I had a PS3 and Xbox 360, so I played both Xbox 360 and PS3. And Xbox 360 at the time had the best Naruto games, and they were Xbox exclusives Naruto the Broken Bond, Naruto Rise of a Ninja. When I got into Storm, it was the first Storm, and I was disappointed. Compared to what Ubisoft did, and yeah, you heard it right, Ubisoft made Broken Bond and Rise of a Ninja. I don't think Bandai had any hand in that either. At all. It was Ubisoft and another company that was competing against Bandai Namco. Okay, and they blew it out the way in terms of the story. Okay, of uh, the fighting. I think the fighting was pretty decent. I think the fighting was takes more skill than fucking Storm series ever has, to be honest. Uh, I know the net code wasn't that great for online. But then again, I didn't have online, but that's what I've heard. Which is why many people gra gra gravitated towards Storm. But now I look at Storm, it's like, the netcode for Storm has always sucked. Even to this day, it sucks, you know? So, Jesus. You know, but as far as story mode and stuff goes, and the open world, and just diving in to give you that real-life experience, like, dude. You went through the Tsukiyomi 
when Sasuke in the Broken Bond by Ubisoft, you played a Sasuke going through Tsukiyomi. When Itachi put him in Tsukiyomi, when they was going after Naruto in the end. Right? And I was like, they never done that. You went the the, the wave art was there, you no, know, which wasn't there for Storm One. But this is what this video is about, but I just want to say, like, I grew up playing games like that, okay? So when I got Storm, I mean, Striker, I could finally make a character. And back in middle school, I was writing fanfics for Naruto, and I had all these OCs, which I've posted on my Twitter, and I've posted on my Facebook. Like, I have all these OCs I've written lately because of Boruto, right? sort of revamping and putting on a Boruto series instead because I was writing but the criticism got to me got me in a very dark place and I just couldn't focus on it I needed to focus on school but this is what we all wanted and at the end of the day it's not that great it's not you know it's not that great it's pretty much trash sorry to say it, but it is but we play it you know we play it because it's all we have but the talk I wanted to have today is that I never care for subscribers. And what I mean by that is like I don't care to get clout for subscribers. I want the subscribers, don't get me wrong, because it, it's not because, oh, more subscribers, more money. It's more subscribers means I'm making more people like their day enjoyable I'm making them happy and that's like I go back to what I said at the beginning of this as long as one person can come to my stream and I brighten their day if they're having a bad day that's all that matters to me that's all that ever matters to me okay like I'm not gonna say I could be someone here you can talk to because I have enough going on with my own mental problems and my GF is mentally struggling on a daily because of her problems. I have DID. If you don't know what that is, look it up. <laughs> Pretty much I have personalities, I guess. Yeah, alter personalities. That's DID. And, you know, my girlfriend has BPD, which is very difficult to deal with. Both of our situations difficult to deal with. However, we try to make the best of it. And that's basically what I've done with this YouTube thing. Like, I couldn't work, right? Which bummed me out. I wanted to. I was one of those people in the world, like, if my friend says they can't keep a job or they hate working, I'm like, lucky you that you get the job, you know? Like, I've always been the one, like, I want to work. I don't want to take it for granted. I want to work. It sucks staying in a house all the time. Like, my life was COVID before COVID hit, you know? Staying inside, doing nothing to do, playing games all day. I hate that. I want to get out and do shit like I don't have friends IRL I really all I have is my girlfriend who I live with you know and I figured to a sob story about me being bullied and me just not being popular but yeah that's all I had but me being able to get out and just experience life is something I wanted to do you know the working the all that is something I like doing it's something I, I wish I could keep doing and maybe I might be able to do that now the direction this channel is going is I was doing live streams in the hopes that people would join the live streams, you know, so I could interact with them more. Because I'm a content creator. I want to be an entertainer. I'm a gamer, but also content creator and entertainer. That's, that's it, you know. I've showed off my gaming side with all these videos, right? But I haven't showed off my content creation side and my entertaining side so which is why when I stopped doing striker I started doing live streams I'm almost all these story games you know and nobody showed up and that's very disheartening when nobody shows up to your streams and you're doing like six like five to six hour streams and barely a soul shows up and you keep doing it day to day and still nobody shows up that's disheartening and it put me in a very depressed space. It's like, am I not good enough? Am I doing something wrong? Like, all I want to do is make people happy, you know? Come talk to me, you know? I don't know. But, I just want to say starting now, or it's already started, I'll be doing both videos and live streams and content. I will be posting striker content 
you know, every now and then, but I'm mostly going to be doing story mode games, and I'll be doing games that you guys could ju come join in and have fun. I have a Twitch, you guys can come join in, chill out, we can vibe to music without being threatened by YouTube to get my stuff revoked, you know, I will leave a link to that. If you ever want to DM me or message me any shit, I'll put my Twitter in the description as well. I'll put a link to my Twitter, my uh, Instagram, Facebook, which I've always been doing, my Twitch. Just come chill out, hang out, you know? I want everybody to know that, like, you have someone. Like, my end goal out of all this YouTubing stuff, even for the job I'm going for, I want to buy better equipment. I want to get a better house, better life for me and my girl, our pets, you know? and race charities and I want to, uh, most of all I want to inspire people especially people with who are down and depressed or have mental issues that you're not alone you'll never be alone and that you shouldn't be ashamed of whatever form of disability you have whether it's physical or mental don't be ashamed of it ever you should never be ashamed of it love who you are love what makes you unique being weird is not a bad thing. Being unique is not a bad thing at all. And it should never be. Never let somebody make you feel ashamed for being different. And don't feel ashamed for it. And don't let them make you feel ashamed for it. Ever. Love who you are. Okay. I have problems. And yet, I'm sitting here trying my best. Okay? And I don't want to hear nobody say, oh, he's for you to do this. I'm poor, guys. Alright? I'm going to say, it. I'm poor. Nothing's going to come easy. You got to work and grind through that shit. I'm suffering while trying to do this. Like, I've been went hungry for like three months just trying to get things going for my YouTube channel. So, there's nothing easy about my life. Mentally financially, life in general. Keep getting up and fighting. That what makes you a warrior. That makes me a warrior. It makes you a warrior. It makes you strong. If you're going through mental illness to which even getting up and saying hi, even just get up and brush your teeth is that struggling? I commend you. You are a warrior. You are loved. You are important. You are an amazing human being. If just getting up to struggle to say hi or brush your teeth to even get up out the bed is a struggle which there are some people out there who just have those type of mental illnesses and like low energy like they just can't it's just such a struggle with their depression and everything to even get up I commend you you are a warrior live your life keep fighting keep going keep living keep breathing I believe in you I believe everybody else who can do that. I just want people to understand that, you know, you shouldn't be ashamed of it, and you're not alone. That's what this channel is about, okay? Like, if I had the luxury of going out places, I would vlog and just answer questions and do Q&As and stuff like that. Mentally, I'm not really prepared to do that. I want to do it so bad, really. I'm not financially able to do it right now, nor am I mentally prepared. I am horrible on camera, which is why it took me forever to even voice. You know, it's like sometimes I don't talk in my streams. For a while, I did that thing, but I was like, I need to build up the confidence to actually talk to people, you know? So that's what I'm doing now. And that's what I'm going to stay doing now. Because I need to be strong so I can help you guys have strength, the people out there who need it. I'm being strong for you so you can help, so you can lean on my shoulders so you can be better or you could do better. That's what I'm wanting and that's what I love. So to all my 93 subscribers, I love you. Thank you for staying with me this far. Thank you for being part of my life. Even if it's like, like a view, just one view lets me know you cared enough and that keeps me going. It keeps me going, keeps me grinding. This is the type of work, YouTube content creating is the type of work that you hate, but you love to savor it. You hate staying up 
all the time and streaming for hours, but you love the end results of making other people happy, and that's what I love. All right. Stay strong, my wolf pack. I'll see you later. Ciao.